Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Essie Table Studio here today with a watercolor video. Um, what I'm doing is I am watercoloring along with Ellen Crimmy Trent's video. And uh, I'm just going to go along with it. I'm going to mute her and then is I drew a heart. Uh, this is a 4x4 four four piece of paper. The, I have a project I'm going to use with these 4x4 four four little watercolors. A trick, I don't know if it was her or someone else I saw, t you take a pencil, you draw your design, then you take a gum eraser, the kneadable gum erasers, and you erase it. And what it does is it leaves the imprint from where you put pressure on the pencil to draw, and then you have a very light line to follow. So this is a heart. And then the first thing she did was she took green paint and went up the sides of the heart with the stems of the flower and now she's at the point where she is um da, 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 what am I looking I'm looking for some words oh she is painting the flowers I need some white in here um painting the flowers and I think these are irises and it's very light um this one is from the Sheehan, it's violet number 408, whatever that is. So she just kind of took the uh, paintbrush and kind of made a little faint circle. Maybe I made that too light. And then kind of put two little thingies here to represent an iris, I think. That's what they remind me of, kind of. So I'm going to do that. And this is arch. This is um, Arches cold press paper. I bought a sheet at a little art store, and no, it was not a big box store. It was a very small little private art store in Waco. And um, the guy, I asked him if they had the paper. He said yes. And they had the tablets, which I thought were, you know, a little out of my budget. But he did say I could buy, I think it's a 20 by 24 piece of um, Arches cold press paper in a sheet. So that's what I did is I bought the sheet and then I cut it down to 4 by 4 squares. So I have a ton of them. But, oops, there went the computer, went to sleep. I'm really glad that I did it because I really love the paper. I mean, it soaks it up. It's got that good cotton in it. I, I like this paper. Um, somebody told me, I think Ellen Crimmy Trent said in one of her um, one of her broad or one of her geez, what's wrong with me? One of her um, lives that, or her videos that she goes with the 50% off coupon to um, to Michael's and buys the paper for 50% off. And I think it's either 20 27 or 28 dollars for a tablet and then I guess she cuts it down from there I'm not really sure but I cut mine down because I have a project this is taped down onto one of those healable mats with scotch tape which you put on your clothes and pull off and then you use it on here so when you pull it up it doesn't rip the paper but being the rocket scientist that I was this morning I forgot to put it on my clothes and after I did it I was like oops too late. So now I'm just putting a few little leaves on the bottoms here like what she did. I think maybe my green is too green. So let me mix it up with a little bit of, let's see, what have I been using here? I've been using yellow green number 404 along with um, hooker's green. And I think it's an M. Graham hooker's green. I would love more expensive paints, but I think I bought that when it was on sale. Hooker's Green, and I also bought some um, Payne's Gray that's from M. Graham. And I did put them in my palette with my Koreans, Korean paints, but I know the difference. And there is a distinct difference, I have to tell you. Okay, and then she did a little bit at the bottom. Right now, the video's paused because I'm a little behind. I'm just putting a little darkness down here at the bottom. I'm trying to fix my V a little bit. 
All right. And I need a darker purple, the violet. There's only in this this uh, Korean. Oh, it's too wet. In this Korean set, there is only one purpley violet pan in here, and I wish there were more because I really like the color. These great flowers, but I'm just mopping up. I got a little too heavy-handed there with the other stuff. Um, <clears throat> I would like another, like a deep purple. I could mix other colors with it, but I'm just going to go ahead with this. This is, I guess, for the insides of the flowers. There we go. Now that looks more like hers. The thing about doing this over the internet and not really knowing the person is trying to figure out their style and your style and trying to merge it. Trying to find my place. This is basically like, basically like a free painting lesson without a lot of explanation and technical rigmarole, which I probably need. But until, <coughs> excuse me, the coronavirus mess is over and lifted and life goes back to something towards a normal, then, you know, I can't, can't do that. All right, so let me do the video here. Now she's mixing some kind of a pink. I am so close to sticking my paintbrush in my glass of ice water. I thought I'd moved it far enough away. Evidently, I didn't. All right now she's taking like a pink, which I'm going to use a red violet. And see what have I got going in here, my daisy. I want to mix that in here because I really don't care. Okay, and then she just kind of did little blobby dots. And um, these are on the little stint, little short stems that were drawn. Whoops, there's a bleeder. Oh, that sounds bad. Um, it's <laughs> the bleeder. There we go. Mess that up. Good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let's fix this. Let's get rid of that. And let's try to fix this. I'll go back over the leaves with the green, but I want to get some of the pink out of there. Kind of soak it up a little bit. All right. Well. Okay, let's see. Let me look at the next part. Okay, so the next part she did was she started putting blue flowers up here. I don't think my shade of blue is um, her shade of blue, but, you know, I'm going to work with what I can put together here. I think I'm using too much water. So I'm just kind of making nondescript fictitious flowers. <laughs> um, and then she filled in some of the areas. Yeah, this blue is not a great blue. I don't like this. I should have gone with just the uh, peacock green. So let me get this out of here and try to clean this up it, mop it up a little bit because I'm not really crazy about this color. I have to look up every now and then to make sure I'm not doing something out of frame with my hands or the brush. And Wow, this is really bright, and that blue is horrible. So let me see if I can put some... Let's see, what is this one? Some other kind of blue in here. Let's see if it'll make it look better. Eh, kind of blobby flowers. I don't think I did such a good job with those. It's hard to watch her on mute and paint this at the same time. Ooh, overdid it. Okay, well, po. I get impatient and then I get sloppy. 
mop it up a little bit more. And she's gonna, she put like yellow in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some leaves in here. Well, actually what I'm gonna do is maybe I'm going, oh, I should fix, yeah, I'm gonna fix my leaves. And I have some leftover uh, yellow green. So I think what I will try to do is paint over this as best I can. trying to disguise my screw up and then she is painting other little leaves up further which fills it in a bit but then she's going to put fill in with other flowers and it's just going to keep going where it fills it all in All right, so I guess I need to do yellow. Let me dry this before I do something crazy. I don't know who invented the heat gun, but it must have been a person who had no patience whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so then she has like yellow flowers in here. So I'm going to do a permanent yellow deep and add it to this orange here. I don't want it bright, bright yellow, but I also don't want it to be really orangey, like orange, orange. And then she just kind of dotted yellow in some of the places in here. I guess that's to fill in, to make it look like there are yellow flowers in here. So let me continue to dot a little bit because I have a feeling I'm going to have to fill in later with some stems and some more leaves. Boy, it looks like... <laughs> Alrighty. Let me dry this. Okay, so... I'm going to put some more flowers in here and she was talking about how this did not turn out the way she wanted it because she realized that she did like the red flowers, then the purple, then the blue, and that she didn't mix and match the flowers in there. And I kind of agree with her, but it's okay, I'm an amateur, so <laughs> I'm good with it because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so... Let me get a little bit of red on here. Now she's trying to fill in this top part with some other flowers, some larger flowers. And so I'm going to kind of do that too, try to fill it in a little bit. And then she's putting in more green leaves. to fill in spaces. Hmm. I think maybe my colors are a little more intense than what they should be, but you know, live and learn. Maybe I can tone them down a little bit with some more purpley stuff. So I mixed my um, violet with some white so that I could tone it down. I'm sure I, if I knew what I was doing, I would mix something else in there. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to put any Payne's Gray in there because I don't want the dark. Let's see. And now let's fix the... Nope, that's not what I used. Let me go back to the red violet. Try to fix my, oops, there's a hair, my blobby mess at the bottom. Oh, 
Now this looks a little better, but I think I need more water. There we go. I, I basically have been doing all these paintings with two brushes. I would love to buy some more brushes, but right now is probably not a good time. Well, I missed a sale with Blick, and there's no Jerry's Artorama close to where I live, and I love Jerry's Artorama. Well, it doesn't look too bad on the camera, although the colors do look a little more intense than what I think hers do. Let's see if the light... I have to have the light so I can see what I'm doing. Well, oh, see, now without so much light on them, from my point of view, they look a little bit better. Maybe if I just look at it in the dark, <laughs> it'll feel like it looks better. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, all right, I need some more yellow, green, and... I'm going to try to fill in with a few more stems. And leaves. I think I might need to dry this before I do much more than this. Yeah, let me dry this before I do something really dumb. All right, now we've snatched the Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, or whatever that is. Okay, I need more yellow here. I think I need, whoops, almost got the glass of water. Oh, that's mixed. Oh, that's Hooker's Green mixed with that. That's what that is. Notice that when she mixes up her colors, she uses a, a really crappy brush, and she does her mixing with the crappy brush. Um, instead of using one of her good brushes to mix up the paint. Let's see what I got going on here. Let's do a few leaves up in here to fill it in. Actually, this is turning out a little better than I thought it would. Yeah. Live and learn, right? I do like the arches paper though. Wow, that's the thing is when somebody introduces you to the expensive stuff, Kind of hard to go back to anything else, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's put another little blue something up here, but I'm not using that color of blue. Let me go to the... I can't read what I wrote down here. Ultramarine blue, that's what it is. And that's the one I don't want. So I need... Uh, let's do cerulean. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Cerulean blue. Okay, there's nowhere to mix it in here, so I guess I have to go to the pan. And I'm not loving cerulean either. How about Prussian blue? I'll mix those two together. Whoa, that's a real dark blue. Needs way more water. Yo. I keep getting these little hairs here. This is a royal nickel or something I bought. I don't know. It's I, I bought at um we too much that I bought at Michael's a while ago. And I paint with this one and then I paint with um what's this one here? Master's Touch. The, I, I think this one came from hot that one came from Hobby Lobby. Which I haven't been to in months and months. Well, I might have to go back and redefine some flowers in there, huh? Put some yellow up at the top so it doesn't look so matchy-matchy. I 
go. If you sprinkle a little yellow in places, maybe it won't look like, you know, pink, purple, blue. I need to dry this. Let me stop and dry again. Oh, I'm looking at the camera. It really does look like the colors are all in rows. Oh my. Okay, so I went back with concentrated amounts of permanent yellow deep and put little dots in some of the flowers and filled in some of the gaps here. Now in the video she's going back and she is filling in the greenery at the bottom to make it a little darker. And I can see where I made my mistake with the greenery. Um, I made my, my leaves all kind of the same height and they shouldn't have been. And then I need to go through here and do a little more in there. So now I'm just winging it. <laughs> the bottom looks terrible. I think when I let it bleed, it was just a little much. So, well, you know, the thing is, is that I'm learning as I go. And uh, even though it may not look the way some people think it should. I'm okay with that because I'm a beginner and I think making mistakes always, as everyone says, is part of the learning process. So that way you don't make the same mistake twice. Although I've heard that people do. I certainly do. Um, so, you know, you just live and learn. Hmm. I think I might go back through this one with a little bit of pen work to define the flowers a little more once it's dried. Okay, so I did decide I need some pen work. And I dried it. Now I'm going to see what I can find. A very small fine pen. Like an OO. Uh, there we go. Here we got, um, is it Staler Statler? Uh, pigment liner point. 05. This is the I think this is one of the smallest ones they make. So I'm just gonna go back through now. I dry it with the dryer and I'm going to see if I can't make some definitions for the little flowers. And I think I'm going to need a more thick pen so that's not cutting it. So let me see. Do I know that another 05 in a different brand? Micron, micron, where is it? Be, 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 be. Where's the number on this one? That's 01. This one is 01. That's a 02. Son of a gun. I hadn't planned on doing this, so I'm sorry I'm having to dig through the bag. 01. 08. Well, that's definitely out. Thought I had a nice 05. Here we go. Here's a micron 005. 05. And I think. There we go. And I'm not really trying to stick into the. I'm not trying to make it really look like flowers, other than I'm just kind of doing little squiggly things. Kind of abstractish. Is that a word, abstractish? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'll just put in some kind of a leaf assembly and do squigglies. I don't really care if they don't look perfect, like, you know, no flowers. Actually, I kind of like the scribbly look. There we go. More squibbies. Yep. Somebody else's watercolors that I really like where she does abstract things. Well, you know, I'll have to do this when it's over. I'll pull the tape off so you can see it a little bit better. Is um, CC Creation. 
or creations. I can't remember how she said how, how what the exact name is, but I like her watercolors too. She does a lot of doodles over her watercolors. She's Canadian, and she has a lovely voice when she speaks. Very soft, soothing sort of voice. And these days, I need soft and soothing voices. Okay, let's untape it. Let's see what we have here. Or oh, I hope I don't tear up the watercolor paper. I forgot to, you know, push it on my clothes. Oh, oh, oh nice. There we go. So, focus, focus. There is my heart shaped flower arrangement a la Ellen Crimmy Trent, who's, um, site I will her uh, YouTube channel I will leave down in the description box for you so you can go over and check out her little watercolors she does mini Mondays or Monday Madness mini Monday Madness or whatever and then she does uh, every day of the week she does something different for painting she does acrylics and she does watercolors but my my favorite are the watercolors. I really like them. They're small. They don't take a long time. Usually her videos are 30 minutes or less, and some of them don't even make 30 minutes. And I'm good with that because my attention span is like shot. So this is perfect for me. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.